Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau with my very interesting voice. We are both sick. Um, Stuart is on the right way to the recovery. I am going to see the doctors tomorrow. But we have started to take down Christmas and we're working on, slowly, on the entrance way for the bed and breakfast room. Bonsoir à tous, bienvenue au Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Und uns und unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum, ja, ich äh, gehe morgen zum Arzt, Stuart geht's besser. Ähm, Weihnachten ist noch nicht ganz verpackt, wie man im Spiegel sieht, äh, aber wir haben angefangen weiterzuarbeiten am Eingang für den ähm, Bed Breakfast Raum und äh, das werden wir euch jetzt zeigen. Yes, and so uh, continuing where we left off from the last episode, we are still working on the entrance. Very slowly. Yes, to, to the, the bed and breakfast room, which, you know, we are doing uh, because we are wanting to include the water closet or the toilet that currently exists to be part of the bedroom suite. Yes, that one thing we've always said and we've so far have been true to in, in every renovation we've done. Anything we do can be reversed. That means in the kitchen, the wall we put up, it's a stud wall, can be removed to show the 18th century staircase. And what we're doing now can be taken down as well as the, the bathroom. Everything can be reversed to put it back to where it was before we bought the chateau. So it's we're, we're trying to be very, very careful here and not to change the character or the, the integrity of the chateau. That's why we didn't go through the wall, because that would have actually really changed the the, the chateau. This right. is, this can be removed any time and reversed. So that's that's our our um, philosophy and we're staying right. true to it. Right, right. So uh, in this episode we are continuing with preparing the 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 old paneling yes. that we got and the window that we're going to be using for the transom. Oh yeah that
So this is window putty. It's lovely. Uh, we have used that. Stuart had ordered two of them. And uh, this does like warmer weather better. So this is for our little building project inside the chateau. Uh, by the way, this is with linseed oil. So it actually smells kind of good, I think, I suppose. But it get it sticks to your fingers like crazy uh, before it's really mixed through and pliable. I mean, there's not much that sticks to uh, these gloves, but this does. So, well, I suppose there needs to be a bit of stickiness, right? How else would it stick to uh, the wood otherwise? So, uh, this is all sanded and primed. It was uh, actually really, did all work really well. Very pleased and after Stuart cut that all down. There's a lot of, uh, he's so good at this detail work where well, I'm just really not. Um, so I'm putting a new, or the original glass back in here, but everything here was so deteriorated that this one had to come out. Um, and you put it on both sides so it really is a nice fit and it doesn't rattle. Uh, now this is going to, it's of course a normal window, but this is now going into a spot where it's on the inside, just an interior window. <clears throat> and as we did in the jeet, uh, we, re we tried to come up with ways to reuse the old windows. And I love it because there's such good craftsmanship at all. So it would be a shame to just dump them. And we were glad that the former owners had saved them because, you know, you can always, you might always in, be in need of a window. That is absolutely true. So now this, I cannot paint for a while. I'm aware of that. Uh, but this is going to be the interior. Now, this other one is going to be almost two stories high up in the air. I'll see how that all works out. But we're excited about it. And it will basically be the last big thing we need to do. And when I say we, I mean that very loosely because it is mostly... Tony, who will do this fantastic project, and we're very grateful for him, to him for doing that. And let's see. So, oh, but sticks everywhere, I tell you. But not necessarily on the wood. <laughs> okay. Now, it might have been smart of me to test beforehand how this should go in. But, that can mean it fits. Okay, one thing I can tell you, there is, there was more deterioration in the upper and lower part. So I already put in much more of this. It's not enough and it uh, gets some really good adhesion if there is enough in there. So I'm going to do this. And we can always scrape it off. So that's a, that's a nice part. Aha. Uh -huh. And as you can see, it's not 
moving much. It's lovely. So this is a bit problematic. Uh, the how are they called? I always forget the glazier points because ah uh, they stick out a bit much and. On the side, so it's too narrow here or too shallow. Shallow, shallow. Good grief. It's early in the morning. Well, not that early. So I'm using them where I can. The one thing, of course, that no one wants to work with windows is that the glass breaks. <coughs> this is old oak. So these are actually, yeah, made out of oak. That is uh, quite, I find that quite remarkable. Very nice. This is just a bit too shallow, so I'm not going to bother putting that in there. And this will be paintable once it is dry. Uh, that takes a couple of weeks at least, because that linen seed oil will slowly evaporate and harden. But then it is absolutely fantastic. Again, it's not going to be exposed to rain or anything, so it's not that important. But it needs to look proper. So there we go.
So we now have all of the supplies we need. Uh, after the trip to the home improvement store, we have all the lumber, and and now we have all the finished pieces. The panels are ready. Panels ready to go. Yes. The door is ready to go. The window, all ready. Yes. Uh, so we're going to have Tony come over as soon as he can. Yes, and um, there will be insulation. Oh yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it's it's going to be quite. Uh, Nice and finished, but it's going to look like it always has been there, which is lovely. And um, I, I have to say that the I'm also working on, well, very, very slowly right now, <laughs> on the interior shutters, which need a lot of tender love and care. Right. And one thing we do want to point out is, you know, we're doing this thing with, uh, with the windows being sort of like the transom. Right above the wall of the, yes. the paneling, and so uh, we did find references to this. Yes, Patrick did, and so uh, do we want to say what chateau it is? It's the Chateau de Gisoux, right. which we've actually have been there. Before. Yes, yes, we we actually did a tour of that. It chateau. was that that one fatal trip that we took to France, where Stuart <laughs> decided to look for a chateau, oh. and that was one of the chateau we we visited. And yes, and it's a it's a privately owned yes. chateau, yes. historic monument, and they have an entire ginormous wing that was, uh, well, walled up. And all the windows were closed up, uh, with literally walled up in uh, the late 1700s because of the window tax. Mm -hmm. So having a, a, an entire wing that was <laughs> walled up, that is just as big as our entire chateau, right? Uh, because of the window tax, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and very it, sad. It is sad, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and one of the things I think that I, would, that I remember the most from that chateau is they have one whole hallway yes. that is uh, mural paintings. Oh, that's the ballroom. Yes, yeah, that's right, yes. Yes, or the gallery, they call it the gallery. Yeah, yes. I think that's one of the things that that chateau is known for because they have these huge uh, paintings of landscapes that are actually, they're painted on the plaster, right? Yes. Aren't they? Yes. And they were just restored over the last 10 or so years, and then... Let's just say they're not, I'm not, I'm not overly excited about them, but it's actually lovely because they're old. Mm. Just saying. Right. It's a matter of taste, of course. Yeah, but it is a huge chateau. But it's it, it is. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm, I've actually been starting to tend to the little bulbs I planted last year uh, in pots, and they started to sprout. Now we have right now a really bad cold spell. Um, and in our hallway, it is incredibly cold. Yeah. The entrance hall is horribly, horribly cold. Uh, some of the rooms, like the, the salon here, uh, there's a little bit of heat on. It's it's perfectly um, fine to sit here right. for a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but we have uh, other rooms that are really nicely heated. And um, so it's you don't heat the entire chateau. Because what's the point? No, and it, that's not cost efficient. No, anyway. but you know, for in, in the next week or so or two, I don't know when, whenever I feel better, I'm gonna uh, tend more to the little pots, and I have already sprouts coming out this far. So we will have flowers here. I would say in about what four to six weeks. That's great. That yeah. would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that's it for this episode. If you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, like and recommend uh, to your friends, and um, if you subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us tremendously. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Friday. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.